Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today I want to make you a very important and useful, uh, I don't want to be bombastic and exaggerate, but life-saving, potential life-saving video. And I want you to stay until the end, I'm going to focus on the uh, autopilot in the Tesla, and um, ab ab how to properly use it, and when to use it, if and when to use it. So it's really important that you stay with me, guys. Um, now that I have close to 13,000 miles on my Tesla Model 3 and I've used all the uh, autopilot suit, I will call it, of the Tesla, I can really give you a first-hand testimony. So just quickly to uh, review, Tesla has, I would say, three different levels of quote-unquote autopilot. Uh, level one is the uh, adaptive cruise control, which basically, uh, you once you set it up, you, you choose your uh, speed, you can increase and decrease the speed uh, to your liking or to the speed limit, however you like. And basically, you, you control the wheel. You turn, you move uh, uh, lanes and all that. The car basically maintains the speed and keep distance between you and the car in front of you. And you can set up the distance to two cars, three cars, five cars, depending, however you like. So that is one level of what I call autopiloting, okay, of the car. The second level is the good old autopilot, which you basically set up the car. Again, same thing like adaptive cruise control, but the addition is that the, the Tesla will uh, navigate the car by itself. You need to keep your hands on the, on the wheel uh, lightly, you know, a little tug, a little grip, and then... Uh, then the car will basically take the turns and all that. It will not stop in a in a stop sign or in a in um, you know in a traffic light. But it like just like the adaptive cruise control, it will keep the distance. And your indication, once you put the indicator, it will move lanes left, back, and right, back, almost automatic. But you are still in control in certain crucial areas. Like I said, the third level is the um, navigate and autopilot once you put a destination you can activate the navigate and autopilot and that will help you same thing like autopilot the two enhancement is that it will suggest a better lane for you to move on that faster and it will take the next exit like the exit that you need to go it will put the indicator by itself and it will go uh, to the exit so that's basically uh, in, uh, in a nutshell what what the three functions of these technologies do. Now let's focus on basically an autopilot and same thing on a navigate an autopilot. And, and they, they have two uh, major flaws, major flaws, and I say that can cause in a crash, in a death, God forbid, or serious injury, God forbid. So basically what, what once you said, and let's focus on highways, once you are set on autopilot or navigate an autopilot and you're on your own, what happened, uh, keeping the speed, keeping the speed of the test, let's say, let's pick a number. Let's say you set up for uh, 65 miles an hour, 100 okay. kilometers per hour, and uh, you drive on the right lane. And then all of a sudden, so this is you, and somebody merges, try to merge into the highway. This happens to me yesterday on my trip to Maryland. Okay, somebody's trying to merge from the right side. For whatever reason, I mean, you are 65, 70 miles, you definitely passing him. There's no issue. He's merging. You are driving straight through. And all of a sudden, Tesla thinks that there's an anticipating a collision for obviously no reason whatsoever. And immediately, like, about to stop the car. I was like on 70 miles yesterday, and it went down like to 50 in two seconds. You know, Tesla really can stop themselves quickly. Now, imagine if a truck was behind me. Holy guacamole. I will not make this video now. The second thing is, and this happened again last night on my way back from Maryland to Jersey. It happened when my wife was driving. And it happened in certain roads, again, a highway. And sometimes you have an exit, like a major exit, like the New Jersey Turnpike that has major, major big exits. And all of a sudden, the exit sign, the yellow sign, will say 40 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour to the exit the, you are on 70 because that's you are on the highway so he thinks that tesla thinks the car thinks that the the, the, the speed change and all of a sudden it, 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 she says to me my wife says to me Moshe, what happened why is the car stopping i said press the gas and keep going 
So these are two major, major, major issues. Now I can tell you, driving this car 13,000 miles already, I can tell you that the actual navigation, turning, moving lanes, much better, improved dramatically since that I've made videos about autopilot. Look in my channels, I make video about autopilot, about these specific issues months ago, saying exactly the same thing, and it's still doing it. This is a major problem, major, major, major problem. Now, as for the uh, Navigate and Autopilot, same issues, just like I described. Sometimes it will not recognize the exit. Sometimes it will jerk the car off. So I can tell you from my experience, um, I try not to use it. Yesterday, I sometimes I try just to see if things are improved, and I'm very alert and tense and nervous. Uh, the best time to use it is really in slow traffic, like stop and go. We stuck uh, for 10 miles yesterday. You know, you just chill, whatever, let it go. But other than that, the the uh, adaptive cruise control will be your best, safest bet. It's really relaxing and good. Not this, not this, not this. I am I am telling you for your own safety. If you use it, be careful. Now, I know I, I never like to bash other YouTubers, my fellow brethren and sisters. I, I never bash anybody and I'm never I never name names but I see some fanboy um, YouTubers and autopilot is awesome and got me crap not true they are not telling you the truth unless they did not experience what I've experienced several times it's not like one time fluke no several times I keep testing it sometimes to see to see if things happen no several times this happened to me last night twice. Anyway, you got my point, you got my point. This is for your safety. I'm giving you advice. If I'm, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. My Tesla owners, brothers and sisters, if you have something to tell me that I don't know, please share, please share with the community. You know, I did not call Tesla. I'm not intending to do that. I'm not that guy who calls and whatever. You know, that's not what I do. Uh, you know, uh, and that's it. That's my report. Um, if you have any testimonial, anything you want to share, please do. Thank you guys for watching. Meanwhile, help me change the world one electric car at a time. Support this channel by becoming a patron. See you tomorrow, guys.